certain me of excitement is the first drive down into Monaco on the first morning that you have arrived here. I mean, just, just look at it. We're in a supercar, winding our way down incredibly scenic mountains with the Mediterranean Ocean on our right-hand side, Monaco down below. It couldn't get much better. Anyway, today is Supercars versus Spotters round three. For those of you who have never seen or even heard of this, it has become somewhat of an annual tradition on the first day that we arrive in Monaco. This year, Supercar versus Spotters entails all four of us against each other. It is, as you would say, each man for themselves. The idea is that we have to spot each other and then make it to the very top of La Turbie Mountain. Now, my starting point is the Monte Carlo Beach Club. Fabulous, glamorous, and normally pretty chilled out. But today is gonna to be quite the opposite for me, as it's a race against the clock and the cameras to see who can spot each other first and get up that hill before everyone else. Let's hit it. We've made it to the Monte Carlo Beach Club. This is my starting point for this challenge. WhatsApp chat group is saying everyone is in their respective positions. Let's hit it. Okay, and we are off. Supercars versus spotters. Round three, it is a go. Okay, so strategy. There's a lot of traffic in town, which means being stranded isn't a good idea. Uh, and I would say, however, that I will at least blend in with the traffic. However, being in an iridescent orange McLaren isn't exactly the best way of camouflaging with the surrounding landscape. Even in Monaco, during top marks, a car like this stands out. However, I did just uh, see a bright orange uh, Aventador Super Veloce. So uh, maybe I could tail him and blend into his shadow or something. Uh, so I know Seb starting from the port. So I'm trying to think where, logistically, where he might go from, from here. So I can probably cross his path. Now the good thing that I'm gonna try and play to my advantage is the visibility from the Batmobile is pretty much zero unless you're looking out of the front of it. So if I can potentially spot Seb from the side or spot him from the rear, I might actually be in with a chance of seeing him without him seeing me. I go in under the tunnel or round up to Casino Square. I'm gonna do the reverse. I'm gonna reverse drive the Formula One circuit. So I'm I'm going up the Fairmont Bank. My only hope here is that someone comes down. Now I don't mind if someone spots me and I spot them. That's we're still on a level playing field then. The issue is if someone spots you without you knowing. Okay, approaching Casino Square. Just as I get into Casino, oh no, I'm stuck at a, I'm stuck at a zebra crossing. The worst thing is being static in this place right now. With any luck, I can divert right. I'm trying to take as many sort of back streets as I can. Okay, my other tactic is a good. I see Paul. I see Paul. Here he is. The only thing is, Paul has also seen me. So. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> okay, just spotted Paul. Obviously, he spotted me. Just as I was talking about me entering the one-way system. <laughs> the idea was, if I get in the one-way system, then chances are the traffic can only be from behind me. So unless Paul's jumped out of his car or something, he wouldn't spot me. But just as I was entering that pinch point, I saw him. He's seen me. Now, Seb is coming from the port. Should I go down to the port? Will he have gone through Casino Square? So the other disadvantage of the bat is wherever it goes, it is like Justin Bieber is walking through town. The amount of attention it gets is unbelievable. I might head back down to, ah, oh, I've seen Seb, I just saw Seb. 
I just saw Seb. Let's see if we can find him. See if, if we can chase him down in the tunnel. Right there. <laughs> tucked behind Seb on the off chance that he hasn't seen me yet. Also, nice uh, California turbo there. Now then, two down, one to go. The only person I haven't spotted is Sam, but here's the tactic. So we've got to be not the last person up to the top of the mountain, but still have spotted everyone else. At some point, all of them are going to come up that hill. So if I go up to the hill early, I could potentially film down bank and catch him coming up. In which case, I'll be ahead and be at the top. I don't know. Let's just give it a go. Oh, also, at the risk of being last, I need to find an opportunity to overtake him. And I still need to spot Sam. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've kind of made a bold move of going up the hill. Paul's behind me! Paul's, be <laughs> Paul's behind me! What could have potentially happened <laughs> to Sam is he could be left down there going around in circles looking for us three. We've already made our way up, up the mountain. Equally, he could have already gone up there. So if I see him somewhere, if he's had the same tactic as us, go up there early, spot all three of us on the way up, I just need to make sure that I'm not last. So far so good because Paul's behind me, not so steady because I haven't seen Sam yet. Seb's in front of me, I've got to find a way of overtaking him just in case. We're ramping up to the finish line. There's three of us in convoy. Where is Sam? The only thing in my favour right now is that I'm not last. I'm past! I'm through! Yes! Ah, oh, Paul's gone for the overtake as well! <laughs> no! The last thing we need to see is Sam at the top. Or should I say, the last thing Seb needs to see is Sam at the top. Is there gonna be a 540C up here? Is there gonna be No! There's no one at the lay-by. There's no one at the lay-by. Oh. Okay, change of tactic. Change of tactic. I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna go back down the hill to look for Sam. To look for Sam and see how that works out. <laughs> how funny is that? Have you seen Sam? <laughs> no. He is. Have you seen Sam? Yeah. Oh, fools, I haven't seen him. You just. The idea is I'm gonna spy him on the way up. Oh, <laughs> so I won! Oh, yeah, you won! Oh. You won! You've won! Oh, yes! Here's Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him. Here's Seb. Seb's up. My only saving grace is Seb hasn't seen. Do we know if Seb's seen Sam? No. Oh. <laughs> so how does this work? If I see Sam before Seb, despite yeah. the fact that he's at the top, I can pull this. I can salvage this. Yeah. I can salvage this. I, I was not expecting. Come I haven't seen Sam. I haven't seen Sam. I can't believe it. I've got to, I've got to go and speak with Seb. Have you seen yeah. Sam? No. Yes, I have seen Sam. Oh, you've seen Sam? Yes. I haven't seen him. So I won. Well, Paul won because he got here before you. But well, you saw Sam. I haven't seen Sam. Second. I lose. Yeah. I lose. Last. Oh, I lose. Oh. I lost. Oh, me chased by a Batmobile. Oh, my tactics did not pay off. <laughs> my thought was, right, I've got to get to the top of, of here first. I'd, I'd seen you as we crossed yeah, paths. I yeah. saw Seb and I thought Seb wouldn't have seen me because it was from oh, really? the side. And oh. the view out of the bat is just terrible. So I thought, okay, saving grace, if I get up to the top, 
and I see Sam from coming up below. Oh my God, you can then race to the top. But that didn't because, work. Because I was like, right, I'm going to avoid main roads. Yeah. And I'm just going to try and wiggle in and see everyone. And I saw everyone within like five minutes of each other. And then I see you. <sighs> and I was like, no, James is ahead of me. And then I see Seb in front of you. And I'm like, no, I thought I was going to win. I literally. <laughs> Here he is! <laughs> he doesn't look happy. He doesn't look happy. How did that go? Well, <laughs> that happened. Did you see me? No! I didn't think you did. And I was like, he must have seen me at some point and disappeared. No, I didn't. I was like, he's going to be coming up this bank shortly. Oh, Let's no. go up there. And then these three were all on our oh, way up. And we ended up in a three-man convoy. Do you want to do and, and literally, we pull up to the lights. I'm like, James, I'm second. And he's in front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the turvy. On the turvy, on the turvy me there. and James hooned it past the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> and so we go up here. I'm like, I'm second. I'm yeah, second. It's it's fine. He gets up here and goes, I haven't seen Sam, so I win. <laughs> I know, I was so disappointed. I tried to block the room. Okay, so I feel a little bit bad because it turns out my early departure from Monaco royally shafted Sam. <laughs> I hate you. Anyway, as always, these videos all complement each other, so be sure to go check out Sam, Seb, and Paul's videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I hate you. Ciao. <laughs>